And then we're going to go back and tweak some of our values on the actual All right, so let's leave that like that. And then let's hide our joints again. And let's select the mesh. Let's go back to vertex. Looks like there's still some problems here. So let's address these. Uh, I'm selecting them and I'm gonna do the whole shift and period selects the next row i'll do it one more time we're gonna add all these to the jaw as a hundred percent so now we want to go back in here and we're going to tweak these out a little bit more So let's select our verts and start uh, setting these to have more influence. Let's see. These are to the jaw, the head, and the mouth upper corner. There is a cheek one. Cheek right and left. There's cheek right. Let's see how far cheek right moves. That may be too much. Oh, that may be too much to move that. Might be asking too much of that single joint. Hmm. This one back to the jaw, 0.5. Let's put this back to 0 0.10 increment. Put that on jaw, joint jaw. Put this on more of the upper right corner. More upper right corner. Upper right corner. Mouth, upper right corner. Can we move this one joint lower? Right corner. No, 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 not moving. Okay, so it's already 100% on that. Let's see, we might have to use the jaw.
that looks like it needs to be upper right corner. This needs to be onto the jaw. Right. There's some trippy indentions here. Jaw head. Those aren't where we want it to go. I want it to go more inward. This one is upper. Hmm. So this is where we have to figure out the best choice for this if the topology moves where you want it. A lot of people have more controllers than what I have one here too. So they wouldn't be dealing with this the same amount or the same way at all. And what I'm trying to do is flatten this part out because it's kind of sticks out a little bit too much more than I like uh, when the mouth is fully open. And this is a very extreme pose, but still. Mm, lower, let's do upper right corner. It's lower right corner, head and jaw. Let's just do zero. Jaw and head. If we add more to the head. Um, let's go back up to the joint, the head joint. Do that like that, so that's a lot smoother. We're just going to mirror these over again once we have them in a good spot. I'm just trying these out on the head joint. Pulls them back, but not that much. Save our file. What we're going to do is just mirror this over. So go back to your zero frame. And we want to. Let's just select it like this. And. Let's actually go to our left viewport instead so we can make sure we're selecting the same same vert. So go to press spacebar to go to your your left um, viewport. Spacebar is going to take you back outside of one viewport into four viewports and then just hover over the left viewport and hit spacebar again or the side viewport and then that will take you where you need to go um, so that we can select this better and get everything we want. Uh, for both sides of the face in there, but right now we're going to we're going to show and we're going to hide joints, and I'm going to use 
the lasso selection tool and you just want to get the ones that we've kind of touched. So I'm gonna go like that. And grab those. Space bar, space bar. And I want to do another mirror. I want to deselect these. They don't exist on both sides. Go to, uh, let's go to our rigging. That's correct. And we're going to go to skin and we're going to go to mirror skin weights. That's correct. We're still doing YZ. Uh, we're doing a negative to positive uh, one to one. And make sure you're in your zero frame or your rest, your resting pose for the face. That works better than when you try to do this after you've already moved the joints around because it'll think that's the zeroed out position for some reason, I believe, last time I did it. So just go back to what your default was when you first started this file, which should be your zero, your frame zero. Um, and now let's let's just hit mirror. All right, let's save this as another iteration file. Save as, so this is 23. And once you have that saved, go back to object mode, turn that off. And then we just wanna take a look at what it looks like mirrored. So it's a little bit better. This side is a lot smoother than this side. This side's not working out so hot the same way. And we also have some weirdness going on with the mouth right here. So we need to see if that's just us not moving the keys around or the joints around correctly. But this side looks looks a lot better. There's some still some funkiness here with the lighting. Let's fix this lip right quick. And go to vert. And this is a 0.8 for upper L. So this doesn't need to be lower C. This doesn't need to be lower anything. It seems to be all. Let me see, where is that one at? It's this one right here. So we want to do upper L8, upper L corner point two. So we'll do upper L. See, that's all wrong. So let's go to the correct uh, joint that we want to use. So you can do upper L. Upper L. Let's just do one. And then we're gonna do, what was the other corner? Per L corner. And that was a point two, one, two. All right, let's save your file. All right, let's see about making this look better. And we probably don't want this to be influenced so much. All right. Now, why is this not matching this? Right upper, left upper, point eight, point three, point five five, head is point five five. 